What is Bitcoin and crypto doing? For the last 10 days, we have seen realistically absolutely nothing from the price of Bitcoin. Cryptos have been, been consolidating, making moves to the upside, then immediately losing all those gains back to the downside. We've been seeing the longs getting liquidated. If we go over to CryptoQuant, we can see that the shorts and the longs, the shorts are being liquidated as soon as we make moves to the upside, and the longs are being liquidated as soon as we eat those moves back up right back to the downside. And just about absolutely nothing is going on. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about why we are seeing this moment of consolidation. Why are so many people, if we look at Bookmap real quick in terms of liquidity, why is there liquidity both to the upside and the downside with just about nothing happening at all with no one knowing exactly where this market is going to go? Well, the first and foremost, so let's talk about again the reason why this is happening, then we'll kind of transition to what I'm doing about it, okay? The reason I think this is happening is because, of course, we do have the Fed meeting later today, okay? Now, we can see here that Fed officials have all but promised to exit their pandemic era zero zero rate policy at their next meeting on March 15th through 16th to bring it down inflation that has shot by the central bank's 2% target. Now we can see it is the morning of the 15th, so we can expect to get some news and updates from that over the next 48 hours. Now, the reason this is so important is because people are extremely uncertain of what is going to happen from this. Now, this is not unusual, and that's something that I kind of want to make a point of today, is that whenever we start to get these moments where really no one knows what's going to happen, you see this strong battle, again, where people are willing to buy on the downside or selling on the upside, and it kind of creates this moment where nothing is happening with the price of cryptos, especially Bitcoin. Now, I think that the reason we're seeing such a strong level of uncertainty is the fact that we, of course, are now mixing in the Russia-Ukraine situation with the big inflation situation, and that does create a point in which people are like, well... Now that the Russia-Ukraine stuff is going on, now that gas prices are flying, are they going to change their mind? Are they going to increase interest rates to really try to hone down on this? Are they not going to take such an aggressive approach? What's going to happen? And since so many people don't really know, some people are speculating either side, but no one really knows, we are starting to see this moment of consolidation. But generally speaking, when we see a strong moment of consolidation, it is usually followed by a strong move in either direction. I mean, even here, right? You can see this was a very explosive move coming out of these couple days here of consolidation and i am expecting considering the fact that realistically we have been seeing pretty extreme <clears throat> pretty extreme consolidation for the last like month realistically i do think that we can expect some pretty aggressive movements in the market to resume relatively soon okay or relatively soon so now that we kind of know why you know why are we why is the price of crypto just not doing anything why are we seeing this just flat line right well let's talk about the ways in which we can go about this because i think this is very important now, what I think, now that we are kind of seeing this moment of consolidation and why it's happening, right, with the expectation anticipation of the Fed meeting and everyone just not really being sure, the way in which I'm going to go about this is to not get overly aggressive in either direction. Earlier in the video, I mentioned the fact that we are seeing major liquidations on both sides of the market. As you can see here, every single time, we're looking at long liquidations here, every single time we get one of these moves to the upside, it kind of immediately gets eaten up with losses and we see those long liquidations spike up because people are getting too aggressive and getting too excited too fast. But similarly, as soon as the price would start to get eaten up to the downside, we would see that it would find some support and eventually work its way into another one of these little growths, which immediately has been liquidating our short positions even harder. Our shorts have been taking much more of a beating than the longs have recently, which is, of course, good for us bulls. Now, as we have kind of seen this balance happen, as we are starting to see longs and shorts both getting liquidated, it's led to our funding rates kind of seeing this point of neutrality and balance where neither one of them is realistically more dominant than the other one. And so for that reason, my whole opinion right now is that being aggressive to either direction is an extremely bad mistake because realistically at this point, there've, there's been um, losses on both sides, okay? So the way in which I'm going to go about this is I'm going to just look at it for what it is. I know that the market is influenced by news and it's encouraged by events that are happening around the world, but looking at this thing based on the perspective of technical analysis can kind of help you mitigate your risk in a sense that you are basically going strictly off of your, um, your, your confirmations, okay? So the way I'm going about it, well, looking about, you know, lo looking at this thing, I currently do believe that there is a much stronger chance that we do see a bounce to the downside and we do see the support establishment before eventually trying to return back up towards above $45,000. Then I do think that we will see this immediate shot back to the upside. The reason being is more often than not, when we see ascending wedges or ascending triangles, they just make these breaks to the downside. It's much easier for them to break to the downside. Okay. Now, does this have to happen? No, it is just more likely than not historically. 
Okay, now if we get good news, if the Fed says something absolutely amazing and all markets take off, yeah, this thing's going to go with it. And this you no know, structure doesn't matter. But realistically, whenever it comes to the overall nature of this pattern, it is more often than not that we will break towards the downside. Okay, so I still do expect that this is more likely than not. And the way in which I'm preparing for it is I do have the idea that there could be two short positions that could be decent short positions to take on if you're willing to take that risk. But again, considering the fact that we have been seeing our shorts getting liquidated pretty hard recently, with these price movements, I wouldn't be too confident in taking on big short trades, okay? So if I was going to, what I would say is that if we were to lose this level of support for the time being, right, just a little wick or a spike down below it or a couple of closes below it, I would be expecting to see the price fall towards this 36,500 level and then next we would probably start to see it work its way to 34,800. The reason being is historically speaking, when we see the loss of ascending levels of support and ascending triangles, we will revisit the levels that created the support level what that means is that we had this touch and we had this touch and we have this touch these three points created the trend and what it means is that when you lose this point you go to the next one when you lose this point you go to the next one so what i usually do is that on these ascending triangles i will start to once we lose one point i will start to short the market back down towards the next one and then the next one and then if we will lose this one then i would kind of take a step away from the market to allow some new structure to be formed before i get to trading again that's always been my game plan with these ascending triangles but again considering what we've been seeing in the market i would be taking that extremely slowly extremely slowly now, if I was going to be accumulating, I would not be accumulating in here. I would not be accumulating within this at all. Although there may be gains and we may break to the upside in some type of W-shaped recovery right here. I'm not confident enough in the market to make that break above this key level of resistance because realistically for the last two months, we have been rejected and rejected and rejected. And at this point, even though we may see a break to the upside, there is nothing to tell us that we will see this full-blown break out until it just happens. And so until this happens, until we get the move that I'm looking for, for something of this nature in which we start holding back above this forty five to forty six thousand dollar level and we get through some of these key levels of liquidity sitting around forty three forty six forty four thousand dollars i'm not going to be extremely confident to say that this is for sure going to happen until it happens okay so yes i am saying it can go up or it can go down because that is what crypto does i'm not here to tell you guys what the future holds i'm here to tell you how i'm prepared for it and so if i'm going to be buying again i'm looking for us to make the break above these key levels of resistance optimally looking for about 45.5 thousand dollars and i'm looking for daily closes multiple daily closes above it for myself to be accumulating because at that point that is only that is the only point in which i would be confident enough to say we have finally changed directions we have finally confirmed the bullish divergence that we're seeing on the weekly charts we will likely have seen this you know macro macd crossing which has always historically led to some pretty strong gains and then i would be much more confident to be adding to my positions to say it is more likely than not that we are going to see growth i'm not trying to buy at the perfect time i'm trying to buy when it's more likely that i will see gains than i will see losses as we all are okay so that's my game plan that's my strategy and that's how i'm looking at it because at this point we are still in a point of neutrality and you know some type of bearish territory right we're kind of consolidating around this level of support the reason it shows that it's easier for us to break this level of support here is because look how much easier it is for us to stay around it than it is this level of resistance the moment we're touching up here we're immediately getting rejected but we're sitting at this key level of support for days and days and days at a time in which one little you know blip boom next thing you know we're going down to these next support levels okay so do be prepared for that these levels you know these times in which we will see these strong moments of consolidation do typically lead to larger breakouts and as we do get into this you know really boring period i think we need to understand that when people get bored is when the craziest shit of the craziest shit happens okay so do be prepared for that because that is still on the you know the realm and that is still a possibility that things will pop off and will go extremely dramatically volatile out of nowhere and you need to be prepared for where it may go whether it's to the downside or how to not get caught up in fomo as it works its way to the upside just to say possibly get rejected again off of this macro level of resistance here okay so that's the way i'm looking at it that's why we're seeing the boringness and that's how i'm going to go about it now, on a bit of another note, while we have been, again, seeing this just absolute boringness in the market, you guys know on my channel, I usually focus on technical analysis, but when the TA is a little bit more boring, I like to add other spicy things. I like to add other ways we can make money, games we can play, just things of that nature, just to kind of make things exciting for you. And in yesterday's video, I told you guys about a way in which there was some fantastic gains to be made over on AAX. Now, the most no 
notable thing that I did talk to you guys about were just some of the interest rates in which they had, such as a 60% um, estimated APY on a first-time exclusive subscription for BNB. You can earn up to, uh, say, 60% for a first-time exclusive subscription for US Tether, which is being, you know, has been absolutely amazing recently. They offer USDT fixed seven-day lockup periods for 60% APY, so another first-time exclusive deal there. So they offer some amazing, amazing deals, especially for first-time users. And then they also offer some other things in which you know you can just win real life things right you can win an iphone 13 if you buy at least 200 usdt worth of crypto in a single order on this page through designated channels such as itez zanepool coinify etc we talked all about that in yesterday's video so if you do want more information on that definitely go check that out but there are actually a few more features of the platform that i've been actually testing out and trying out making a little bit of money from that i wanted to show you guys because of course while nothing is happening here it does get easy to get bored and want things to do and so i'm trying to provide you guys with even more things you can be doing in this extremely boring market to be honest okay now one thing i've been having funds with was going to be battle tricks now this is something that's grown in popularity recently but what you can do is you can place an order and you can kind of bet whether or not you think the market is going to go up or whether it's going to go down in the short term these can be up to every minute in which you can be placing these bets okay and you can be betting that over the next minute are we going up are we going down so what i've been doing is I will actually take some short-term TA. I will zoom down to the 30-second or minute charts on my um on say something like Trading View or on a uh, book map, and I will say, okay, am I confident it's going up or am I confident going down? Did we just break a minutely micro uh, downtrend? Then boom, I think we're going up. Then I'll place a bet thinking we're bullish, or the opposite, I'll think we're going bearish. And I've been testing it out. It's been really fun, and I think it's something that definitely provides people with a little bit more excitement. In a way, I guess it could be considered a gamble. So definitely just be careful <laughs> with that. There are a lot of um you know there, there, there's a lot. To think about whenever it does come to there but that is a way that i have been trying out i made a little bit of money off of it so it has been fun as well now another thing that i did want to tell you guys is that as they have introduced some of these other aspects to their platform such as battle tricks they have also gone ahead and enabled people um, to support weth which is going to be wrapped ether direct deposits now this just really just makes it very easy for people to do transactions especially miners if you are looking to say mine that makes it much easier with much less transaction fees it just makes the overall process a lot easier they were one of the very first exchanges to do this and it has made them you know uh, much more capable of adding things such as battle tricks and increasing their platform and ecosystem so that is something to note is that not only are they allowing us to make money in different ways of course but they are providing kind of the framework and the fundamentals to make sure that their platform is easy to use and does continue forward now the last thing and the last way in which you can make money with them which has been very interesting for me and i'm excited about this in the future is there's actually a way in which you can buy things such as gala games luna or even matic for a 50 percent off discount the way in which it works is very simply there's going to be a way in which you make you win tickets it's kind of like a lottery system in a way now the way in which you're going to get these tickets does come down to a few different um a, a, a few different obligations okay so of course there are ways in which you can do it you can hold coins or you can subscribe to savings which is on their website we talked about it yesterday and there's some other things you can do as well you can invite friends to attain tickets you can join the community to attain tickets and all of these different things do increase your chances of getting into the event and then once you get into the event you can actually purchase some of your favorite top cryptos for a 50 percent off deal so i think that's also pretty cool there could be another way for arbitrage there or just things of that nature for us to see gains while there isn't much going on here now of course they are a partner of the channel i didn't mention that as well um, in yesterday's video but i do think that taking advantage of these other ways to even make smaller gains while other gains aren't even being made in the market definitely can add up over time and make these bear markets much more bearable okay so with that said i definitely do think that they are worth i'm going to go ahead and leave the links down below in order for you to take part in the event to win the lottery to play some battle do all of those things all of that will be available down below check it out if you'd like and of course if you would not like of course you can just go ahead and skip past that but with that said that's going to be about it for today's video that is my overall opinion on what we are seeing from the market and how do i think that this is going to go going forward be on the lookout for these two key support levels to be there and do understand that likely there could be some decent short trades from support level to support level but be very careful because again we have been seeing massive liquidations to either side if we do get a break to the upside something strong i will make another video i will tell you guys what to be on the lookout for and how things are looking in terms of the possibility for being a strong breakout so turn on notifications so you do not miss that and i will see you all next time peace